Howdy. Hora, <laughs> got enough food here for a month. <laughs> this storm's only supposed to last a couple of days. My nieces are coming to stay with me. They get in this afternoon. Hope it's enough. Well, all things considered, do you think that's such a good idea? Ah, oh, the girls. They, they don't have any options right now, so... Mm -hmm. oh. No, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, got a storm coming, and it's Halloween tomorrow, so... Maybe they should just wait. Not everyone's as superstitious as you, Donald. <laughs> all right, go on. See you soon. You bet. You okay in there, boy? Come on, baby. It's okay. Say you were good to drive. You're not seriously gonna blame this on me. Be my guest. Sounded like a bad one. You wanna talk about it? No. We'll get through this, okay? So 
thought we had an agreement. And what agreement is that exactly? I have a hard time keeping track of all your rules. No more arguing in front of Emma. She's been through enough, okay? She doesn't need to see us at each other's throats all the time. Well, excuse me if I'm not all that excited about leaving behind what little of my life is left. You're not the only one who's had to put their life on hold here, Marley. And I thought we agreed no more of this in front of Emma. We could have found a way. If you really cared, we could have found a way to stay. The money's gone, Marley. Mom and Dad's life insurance didn't come close to covering Emma's hospital bills. If we want to be together, Aunt Cora is the only option. There's nowhere else to go. We need to get going or we're going to miss the ferry. There is not much further. There's supposed to be a ferry. The schedule said 3 o'clock. I guess we'll just have to go back. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to sneak up on you like that. The schedule said that there was a 3 o'clock? Uh, well, uh, lots of folks been coming off the island, so I didn't expect anybody to be wanting to go. We don't. We do. Well, um, is it... Big storm expected tonight, and we we was to take over the island now by ferry. There might not be another ferry until the storm breaks, and that could be a couple of days. The island's not somewhere you want to be stuck. Not during a storm, not especially not this time of year. You heard the man. This is an all-around bad idea. The ferry is scheduled to be running, and we'd like to be on it. your way. Oh. Looks like you'll have some company after all. Emma? Emma? You folks are going to be wanting to get up to the ramp now if you want to go. Okay, when you're on. There was a young girl in our back seat. Did you see where she went? I thought it was just the two of you. Emma? Emma? I can't hold the ferry, not with the storm coming. Emma, we need to go. Uh, 
Well, I'll let you know I saw that girl you were looking for. Just walking towards the fair. I just thought you'd want to know. <laughs> hey, I'd uh, stay off that island till the storm passes, if I were you. I think we'll manage. Uh, I don't know about that. Last time a storm hit that island on Halloween, uh, half the people there ended up dead. I just steer clear, that's all I'm saying. If you're so worried, then why are you going? I have my reasons. I guess that makes two of us. I'm not sad in my name. We just talked to her this morning. But I saw it in my dream. Emma, what's going on? I'm sorry, I just... I wanted to see the island. It's okay. No harm done. We gotta get going, though. Her dreams aren't getting any better. She needs time. Things will get better. She watched our parents burn to death in their own car. She barely survived it herself. I really think she's ever gonna get over that. How is everyone? And Cora's still not answering. Emma's been sleeping an awful lot. It's her meds, makes her tired. Well, that's really gonna help with the nightmares. <sighs> you do know where you're going, right? Don't start, okay? Someone's watching us. 
Pick a direction, let's just go. What does the GPS say? Nothing. There's no reception out here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. I got turned around, OK? I thought I saw that green car again. Guys, nothing is ever your fault, is it? Guys, we're almost out of gas. How long has it been like that? What is that? I don't know, Em. Drive. Just drive. This isn't happening. Tell me this isn't happening. We just have to walk, OK? Aunt Cora's is just down the road. Leave it. Let's just go. We need Emma's medication. Let's just go. Come on. Sarah. OK, let's go. Who's wishing we stayed in the city now? We need to go faster. Yeah. <laughs> 
She's already in the basement. What, what the hell is going on, Sarah? What happened to her? Listen to me. What happened to Aunt Cora? Listen to me. There's someone out there that killed Aunt Cora, and they're after this woman. Do you understand what that means? We need to get in the basement. Marley! Come on! How's she doing? Not good. My three months of medical school isn't gonna cut it. She needs a doctor. just say what the hell is she talking about i don't know she's in a lot of pain it's time you tell me what happened to aunt cora i'm not sure okay stop treating me like a child tell me what happened i don't know what happened to her all right i deserve to know sarah fine you want to know her eyes were gone just gone, like someone cut them out of her head or something. And then some sick twist set her insides on fire. What? What? Sorry. I shouldn't have told you. Not like that. in the truck, Emma said she had a dream about Aunt Cora. That something happened to her. How did she know that, Sarah? How? It's... It's coincidence. I mean, it has to be. She's been having those type of dreams about all of us. She thinks death follows her around wherever she goes. She's terrified that everyone around her is gonna die. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. still out let her sleep she had a rough night and i don't want her to see aunt cora that woman doesn't look too good if we don't get her to a hospital she's not gonna last much longer found a hose okay so we'll siphon the gas from aunt cora's car can't be too hard. We'll get ours going and we'll get her to the hospital. She says the killing won't stop until the end of Halloween. 
What if whoever chased her here and killed Aunt Cor is just out there waiting for us? If we stay here, she'll die for sure. In the house. Don't look, okay? Let's just get this over with. I should have listened to him. Listen to who? That creepy guy back at the ferry. He said the last time a storm hit here on Halloween, Nearly everyone died. He said what? And you're just telling me this now? I thought he was just some weirdo, okay? For all you know, he's the one doing all this. I didn't want to worry you any more than you already were. I am so sick and tired of you thinking you know what's best for me. That's enough. All it's right. not enough that our parents are dead. Now you're gonna get the rest I of us killed. I said that's enough! <laughs> Marley. Don't touch me. Don't. Okay, just don't. Why would someone do that to another person? It's gone. What's gone? The car is gone. Okay, so, so we'll walk. We need to get that woman to the hospital. We'll, we'll send someone, all right? We just need to get the hell out of here we still can. What about Emma? She won't make it far with her leg like that. Well, what do you suggest we do? Just wait here until that psycho shows up? No. No way in hell. We don't have a choice, Marley. You know we don't. You keep watch. I'll deal with it. Here, you need to go back inside. But everyone was gone. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> Yes! 
right, we're getting out of here. Where the hell are we gonna go, huh? Or have you forgotten that there's no way off this island until tomorrow? We'll, we'll find help in town. Are you serious? Did you see that thing? Who the hell is gonna be able to help us? I don't know, all right? But you're not helping the situation. Do you understand? <laughs> Sarah's right, Em. We're gonna get through this. And then we'll find a way out of here. I should... I should have told you. Told me why? I saw it. Hey, we, we all did. Just try not to think no, about no. it. No, I saw it. In my dream. I, I should have warned you. I'm upset because of me. None of this is your fault, Em. Whatever's happening here has nothing to do with you. What was that? Everyone stay in the car. out of here now before we end up like him. We need to find help. These people aren't gonna help us. You saw how they just stared at us before. They were scared. They knew this was gonna happen. There's nowhere else to go. You said so yourself. We, we can go to the ferry dock. Maybe there's another boat there. They should at least have a radio, right? Please, Sarah, just this once, I need you to listen to me. We need to go now. Okay, let's get in the car. Emma? 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 She just wandered off, right, like she did before. Emma! If something happened, we would have heard. Oh, my God. She thinks everyone around her dies. She's trying to protect us. No. No, no, no. No. Emma? Emma? Emma, none of this is your fault. Not another sound. Dead. 
Emma? Emma, if that's you, you need to come out, okay? None of this is your fault. What you need to do is shut the hell up, okay? That thing out there was almost gone until you and your friend showed up. You almost got us all killed. Let her go, Toby. I think she gets the message. Yeah? She better have. Now, maybe you'll be able to keep her quiet, too. Sarah? What did they do to you? She didn't leave us any choice. She wouldn't stop yelling. It was going to hear us in here. Where's Emma? Did you find her? Please, our sister is still out there. I'm sorry. But if your sister's out there right now, she's already dead. But you're all alive. You've managed to survive. We survived by accident. When everyone else ran away, we all hid in the freezer. We could hear them. But we knew if we opened the door, we'd be dead right along with them. What the hell is that thing out there? Yeah, why don't you ask Mr. Internet Sensation over here? He seems to have all the answers. You knew about this at the ferry and you didn't say anything? Look, I tried to warn you. All right, I did. When I saw you on Main Street, I was going to tell you guys everything. You drove off too fast. You said that some people died in the last storm that was here. You never said anything about that thing out there. Well, I was just trying to mess with you. Right? I didn't think it was real. Yeah? You <laughs> thought it was real enough to bring your gun. <laughs> okay, look, I have a web series. All right, I stay overnight at haunted places. None of them ever really turn out to be haunted, right? I bring the gun because you never know who you're going to run into on these things. It's just me. There's a lot of crazies out there. I just bring it for protection. It's... A couple weeks ago, I, I was in a bar. I met this old guy. He was drunk. Started in with this story about an island that he used to live on. So that on Halloween 1915, a storm hit. Killed half the people here. Get to the part where you tell us what's killing everyone out there. Officially, locals say it was the storm. The old man says that the storm brought something with it, something evil. Yeah. Tell her why. On the eve of Halloween, before the storm hit, the townspeople, they, they burned six girls on the stake for, for practicing witchcraft. Now, as the story goes, before the girls burned to death, they summoned a storm. 
lightning struck each one of them, pulling their spirits up into the storm so that they could return to something far, far more evil. They unleashed their revenge on the island until the sun came up, ending all Hollow's Eve. And that's not even the best part. The witches, they um, they vowed to return on the anniversary of their murder once every hundred years. Wipe out everyone who dares stay on the island. People around here have been telling that story for years, but nobody ever believed them. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's hell a believer. So how do we kill it? We don't. We survive it. The killing won't stop until the end of Halloween. Tonight's Halloween, and that's why we're not leaving until morning. Not until sunrise. We'll stay here for the night, and then I think we'll go back where I came from, just like it did last time. Well, that's not happening. I told you, our sister's out there, and we're going to find her. What makes you think you're the only one who's lost someone? If you want to stop us, you're going to have to shoot us. I'm not playing around here. Hey, just let her go, Toby. No one is leaving here until morning, OK? Until that sun rises, no one is leaving this building. I don't think it kills everyone. I don't, I don't think it kills everyone. No, not right away, at least. You know, I think it's taking them somewhere. And why do you think that? Well, when we were out chasing after these two, you know, I saw quite a few bloody drag marks where there was no bodies. And? And, and they were all headed in the same direction. And, uh, I, I've, been, I've been thinking about it, and the, the only thing that would make sense is if it's dragging them all to the same place. But why? And who says they're not already dead? I'm just saying that there's still a chance. Like, why take some of the bodies but not the others? You know, maybe there's survivors out there. You're Jill's dead, all right? Then where's her body, huh? Don't. Why wasn't it here with the others? Who's Jill? That's Kim. You know as well as I do that if I would have opened up that freezer door, we would all be dead. Okay, I saved your life. Never should have been here in the first place. Come with us. You're looking for someone, too. We can search together. You must be good with tracking and stuff, right? <laughs> this was our first trip out. We came to the island because you're not allowed to hunt here. The deer don't know to be afraid, you know? They're easy picking. I was just trying to impress my girlfriend. Well, none of that changes the fact that no one's leaving. Says who? Oh, you don't got the guts. Yeah? Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. This is getting out of hand. Toby, if they want to leave, just let them leave. Maybe they'll lead it away, right? Come on. Nothing over here. You're kidding me, right? If I'm dying, I'm leaving a record. I'm gonna find her and shut her up before she gets us all killed. No, wait. Wait. I see her in the parking lot. Why is she just standing there out in the open like that? We gotta go get her. No, no, not so fast. Something's not right. We could just let her die out there. There. There it is. Do you see it? Oh, my God. It's using her as bait. So what do we do? Nothing. We can't just do nothing. <laughs> You think it slipped. Okay, I'm sorry. We have to get out of here. Maybe we're good. Maybe it didn't hear us. 
We'll hide it out in the freezer just like last time. We can't get trapped in here. We have to find Emma. Look, you can stand out here and discuss this all you want, but as soon as that freezer door closes, there's no getting in. It's keeping people alive, Toby. You just saw it yourself. And Jill might still be alive. Help me find her. You owe her that. Look, we're no use to anybody if we're dead. Now, who's coming with me? Cole, what the hell are you doing? Come on. I don't want anybody else to die because I did nothing. Come on, Alex, don't be stupid. You're a coward, Toby. I just don't see the upside in being a dead hero. It's nice knowing. Do you hear that? It's gone. It stopped. That doesn't mean that it's gone. We only have three rounds left. That's not going to get us far. Oh. The sheriff's station is a block down. We might stay out of sight if we go through the alley in the back. It's waiting for us there. We need those weapons. You head there. I'll draw it away. I'm gonna need this. Marley, what the hell are you doing? Marley! We should have gone with them. That didn't stop you. Look, what if there are other people still alive out there, Toby? We could help. We already them. risked our next once for them, but thanks that got us. Okay. The only person I'm interested in keeping alive now is myself. Well, I'm going after them, and they're. I guess we wait and see what your sister has in store.
we're gonna go, we're gonna go now. Go, I got your back. Go. It's just around the other side of the building. Maybe check that room over there. Hello, can anyone hear me? You think it hurt us? I don't know. Please. everything. Do you really think all this is going to stop that thing? Well, it slowed it down the first time. It's something, right? She'll be back. We best be going, Sarah. I don't want to be looking in the dark. Are you going to show us how to load these things? Everything's loaded and good to go. Just got to release the safety. It's, uh, it's right there by, uh, by your thumb. You want to just press it? You said that all the drag marks were headed in the same direction. Which way was that? These are the ones that I saw this morning. And this, this is the one we saw on the way here. They all seem to be leading to this side of the island. What's over here? Nothing really, it's just forest. There is an old power station not far from there. It's been closed for years. Right here. What the hell?
town. I think I know where Emma is. Are you gonna tell me what happened? It killed him, all right? Like it does everyone else. Where were you all that time? I thought I heard Emma, so I went looking. And? I found this. But they were drag marks, like Alex was saying. She's still alive, okay? I think it's a left up here. To go where? Alex and Nicole thought they found the spot I might be taking them. Okay. You sure about this? There's no power plant. It looks like the drag marks are leading there. Better than nothing, right? It should be through here. We should keep going. There's a trail over this way. This must be where it's dragging them. Come on. Sarah? Sarah?
must be where they burn them. The girls. Like Seth was saying. The trail. It just ends here. There's fresh blood here. Just a little further. Emma. Emma, you're gonna have to help, okay? Look. Look, that must be part of the power plant. Come on, almost there. Uh, hang in there, Emma. Emma, stay with me.
We need to get out of here. I thought... I thought you were... Yeah, me too. Emma. Emma. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know we all are. I just need to wait it out in here until morning. And this will all be over. We should find somewhere to stay out of sight. We stick together, right? No more running off. I'm not leaving you, you hear me?
you to stay hidden until the sun was up. I did. It's, it's almost morning. You need to go for help. No. No, I'm, I'm not leaving you. I need you to bring help. If I don't get help, I'm probably gonna... No, don't. Don't say that. Okay, I'll... I'll go. We're gonna be okay, Em. 
promise me. I promise. Home. <laughs> <laughs> 